they just gotta get the cake and that's every, every day. day. I don't trust niggas, man, they too fake. Now I'm on my ground like I'm Lupe. Hey, what's going on guys? Shock here and welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to take out lag spikes from Minecraft. Now, pretty much when you play Minecraft for a long period of time, probably like I don't know an hour, you realize that, you know, you start to get lag spikes and this definitely affects on Mineplex. You know, whenever you do like, I don't know, like certain game modes, you start to experience lag spikes, you check your FPS, it's fine. But you just keep on getting those lag spikes. I'm here to show you how to get rid of those. Now... The main reason you're getting these lag spikes is because of your RAM. So, if we go to Minecraft here, um, if you look on the top corner where it says Mem right here, as you see, I only have one gig of uh, one gig of RAM dedicated to Minecraft. So, right now, if I, I don't know, if I set the chunks to like, let's put on extreme. So, as you see, the the memory is going like 50%, over 50%. Now, when you play for a long period of time. Minecraft will start using around 70% to 80%. When you get to 90%, you start to experience lag spikes. So that's the reason why. As you can see, uh, my memory is like going really high, and that's why it's actually not uh, loading these chunks right now. And it's trying to like build up the RAM so it's actually like balanced and all that. So right now, as you see, it's hitting 70% right now, which is not good. So pretty much, if we had more gigs of RAM dedicated to Minecraft, we we're able to like pretty much not experience these lag spikes so right now I'm not actually getting lag spikes I just I just felt the lag spike just now I see I'm getting 80% um, as soon as he gets uh, 100% you start to experience lag spikes so um, my computer is like really good so I don't think it's gonna like oh it is achieving 90 right now so I'm gonna try to get 100% right here so um, let me see if I could like move around like this yeah I just experienced one more lag spike oh there we go as you see guys um that was a huge lag spike right there. You saw that, guys? So if you look at my FPS right now, it's actually at 0 to 2 to z You see? As you see, those are lag spikes right there that you don't want. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to quit out of Minecraft because, you know, we don't want to actually suffer from this. So as you see, um, Minecraft might crash because, you know, 100% dedicated. I mean, 100% RAM right now being used in Minecraft is not good and... Quitting out of a game is going to cause you to crash. So if I keep on spamming my uh, button right here, my right click, or my left click, it's actually going to stop responding. So we're actually going to force shut it down by going to task manager. So as you see, um, we're going to end task. So here, what you want to do in order to uh, put in more RAM to Minecraft is you actually want to go to edit profile and you want to check mark this box. Some people might not have a check mark, some people might. But if you don't have a check mark, check it up. So what you want to do is as you can see there's usually by default there will be 1G which represents 1 gigabyte so if you have 4 gigabytes well I don't really recommend you to actually change it you pretty much want to upgrade your RAM but if you have 8 gigs of RAM on your on your uh, computer you want to dedicate 2 gigs of RAM to Minecraft if you have 16 gigabytes of RAM like me I have 16 gigabytes uh, use like 4 gigs honestly if you use 4 gigs you're not really going to experiment uh, any lag spikes at all but if, if you want to be safe, you can still set it to 2. If you have like 32 gigs of RAM, then you know you know what to do. Put 8 gigs or whatever. Pretty much you just want to have higher than 1 gig of RAM. So here I have 16 gigs of RAM. So I'm actually going to set it to 4 gigs of RAM for now. So as you see, it's set to 4 gigs. And we're going to go with save profile and we're going to click play. So here we go. We're going to go ahead and launch back Minecraft. And we're going to see... If we're going to experiment more lag spikes, if we do that same thing that we did, we set our chunks to really high. And let's see if we get any lag spikes. So we're going to go into Minecraft right now. And we're, okay, so shaders is off. Usually it comes on. So as you see, um, it didn't it didn't actually set the render distance to 32 because uh, it crashed. So yeah. So we're going to go back into Amplified World. So if you never knew, this is an amp Amplified World just to make the chunk loading really more easy easier and more better for the RAM to like overuse so if I press F3 as you see on the mem or memory as you see we have four gigabytes dedicated to Minecraft so uh, as you see the RAM is like not being really used right now it's actually jumping from 9 to 10 percent which is good so if I set the RAM uh, to like really high I mean not the RAM the render distance if I set the render distance to really high let's go to like a unknown chunking spot where it doesn't load so let's go like I know I see the Rams actually not being used at all not not that much 
And it's kind of suffering right here, actually. So let's actually jump right here. Because it's actually rendering the rest of the world. And as you see, the RAM is actually not being... Not even touched at all. Like, honestly, it's not even touching a gigabyte of RAM yet. So, as you know, if you... If you want to... Here's a pro tip, actually. So when you use... uh When you use more than, like, 1 gig of RAM to Minecraft. If you ex... If you go back to 1K RAM, it actually uses around like 400 megabytes by default at the start. But if you set it to 2 gigs, it actually uses like a gigabyte already. So because that because since Minecraft is stressing on 1 gig of RAM, it actually needs more gigs of RAM. So once it once it actually realizes that it has one um, 2 gigs of RAM dedicated to Minecraft, it's going to use it. It's going to use an advantage. So as you see, I'm actually using technically one gigabyte right now it's actually bouncing at 900 megabytes I see I just spiked uh uh what do you call it? one gigabyte so as you see I'm not actually experiencing any lag spikes at all I'm actually at uh, 102 FPS 117 I'm doing fine like I, I've been here for a while this is actually I've been um, here longer than last time and I never experienced any lag spikes the only time I'll experience a lag spike is when the RAM goes to four gigs so as you see, we're actually going to run around the world at, right here. So, as you see, 32 chunks is actually going to load up a lot. But, oh, okay, it just rendered this part. So, it looks like it just rendered. So, we're going to, oh, it, okay, now, now the game's lagging. Well, not the game, but the world. So, pretty much, I'm not experiencing lag spike. So, this is how you do it. If you guys want to have no, okay, I, I keep on glitching back in the same spot. <laughs> so, if you guys want to have technically no lag spikes in Minecraft, set at least two or more gigabytes of RAM to Minecraft so you don't experience any lag spikes so I see I actually have 40 FPS right now just just because I have it on like four, um what do you call it? 32 chunks that's why so I'm gonna set it back to my default I think it was 16 whatever so yeah um, I hope you guys enjoyed leave a like if you did and be sure to subscribe and if this helped you know, tell other people, honestly. Um, a lot of people is experiencing this problem. And, you know, everybody doesn't really want this problem at all. So, yeah. Um, if you guys enjoyed, leave a like. And I will see you guys later.